Okay, it's almost three. It's getting a little dreary because I don't know, it's whatever. But I was, you know, during my day since my last video, I made food to eat, I ate a whole bunch of rice, I uh, was working on, well, I was watching a lot of YouTube videos, but I was uploading a video, I was organizing some videos, um, and I was kind of, you know, getting over the situation with the guy from Chicago. Um, he had messaged me just a couple minutes ago, asked me how my day was going, and I said it was going good and yours, but of course it wasn't going good. I was almost out the door, then I got tired. Now I'm gonna take a nap. Um, so, basically I couldn't get myself out yet. So I'd like to be able to get my workout tomorrow, tonight, this evening. Um, I'm transferring some hard drive stuff from one hard drive to another external hard drives. I got to get another hard drive so I can bring to Chicago. I made the decision I'm still going to Chicago. But of course I'm depressed about, you know, my situation with him right now. And I'm also depressed with it's because I can't I want a better life and I'm not having a good life here, you know. Um the life that I want. And I, I get these emails from this lawyer, immigration lawyer, who just before I left LA, I um, contacted and did a, um, a phone interview and sent them my information. And after that, they never got back to me. And I figured, okay, so I'm, cause she said she would get back to me with a resume of everything and whatever, unless I misunderstood. So I figured I wasn't qualified because there were some things I needed to do, write some articles and stuff. And now when I got home, it's, an, it's a year and a half, and I'm not in that anymore. It's not what I want to do, but I'm in fitness, you know? And I saw an email from them because they sent me a newsletter, and this guy from South Africa managed to get his EB1 visa. And so I'm thinking, okay, do I try to contact them again. I guess I first gotta wait to see if I get any money from my, the rest of my dad's money from the, uh, from the will. So at least I'll be able to have some money to pay for the process. And see what I can do. Because that newsletter seemed close to mine that he didn't, he tried many lawyers and it didn't work and he wanted to leave South Africa, yada, yada, yada. And I want to go to L.A. I'll pay the money to get the process and just help me. I need help. I fucking need help. I don't like just existing. So, I'm going to calm down, watch some more YouTube videos, 
try to rest up a little bit more get myself to the gym I wanted to film some things in the gym but of course it's going to be the evening it's going to be too many people there I thought maybe in the afternoon when it's dead I could bring around this camera I might bring it anyways I don't know we'll see how I feel And I have to remove all the stuff off this camera before going to Chicago. Once I have my client tomorrow, I have a client tomorrow at 10. And uh, of course I have one early in the morning. And then I'll go to the gym or maybe rest up before, of course. But take, then I'll be able to take out my suitcase and start packing. And transfer some shampoos and all my hair and beauty products into smaller containers, see what I can do and see where my money is at and hopefully I'll have a hard drive, buy a hard drive then and transfer stuff onto that I really hate ex just existing.